<laughs> Absolutely. Love being behind the scenes. Love being behind the scenes. Yes, I do. Yes. Love being behind the scenes. Yes, I do. I can hear you. I'm sorry. I think what's happening yes. is my phone is doing a playback. Mike check, Mike check. I'm reading the um, messages and they're saying they can only hear me, but they can't hear you. Yes. Right. I can hear you. Can y'all hear me? Doing a check one, check two, check three. D tell him Shay's working on his microphone. Shay is working on his microphone, folks. Hang in there. Oh, mic check, mic check. Just ask them if, if they can hear. Can you hear Shay? Shay is working on his mic. So, so what you do is. Rule number one, don't panic. Just say, can you guys hear Shea Brown? They say, yes, now we can. They can hear you now. Well, who is who is they? Who's even here? So you got to, okay. So it's okay. So we got Lisa Farrell, Letitia Nicole. If you guys can't hear me, Stephanie, just shout them out and give me 10 seconds. Who's, who's here? Letitia Nicole, Ayanna Crawford, Lisa Farrell, Deborah Wealthpreneur Edmondson, Madeline Bass. Okay. Madeline Bass in the house. Okay. Oh, you check to see if they can. We're going to get started. About to kick this off. Just do, a, just do a check. If you guys can hear me, put Shay, we can hear you. Just put Shay, we can hear you. I have my internet up. Hey, Kazette, how, Kazette White is in the house from California. You're going to love Kazette White, by the way. Alice Boswell is in the house. Boy, you bring out the all stars. All stars, by the way. Madeline ah. R. Bass says yes. Does that yes we can hear you? Ayana Crawford, is that yes you can hear me, Shay Brown, or yes you can hear her? We always do a check. Sometimes when we're setting up around here, you're behind the scenes, these things happen. Okay, since so you're saying you can hear me, okay, Letitia says he's breaking up. Okay, hold up. I can hear Shay. Tara says she can hear me. That's that's good. That's good. I should be coming through loud and clear on the microphone. Loud and clear on the microphone. All right. Well, so with that being said, Shay Brown, we can hear you. All right, Ayana, thank you so much. You know, I love you guys. And, you know, if you're ever out there, you need someone to hear you, I'll do the same. Okay, now, Stephanie, we're going to get started. Are you ready, Stephanie? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, we're going to kick this off in five, four, three, two, one. It's showtime. Please go ahead and give a big standing check, ovation check, check, for check. the one and the only Shay. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning and meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea 
into a reality. Their reality isn't that the reason into why a all business. Here? Their business isn't into that a what we're all searching for? Five, 2013, the peak performance five, was created. Five thousand clients we've helped turn their idea into a reality. Their reality isn't that the reason why we're all here? get started we're back and just let you know Stephanie you have to mute your phone you got to mute your phone just let you know Stephanie you got to mute your phone because they can hear you and they can hear the video at the same time <laughs> okay so we got sorry double, about that it's no worries no worries we kind of got a little, a little double feedback there and that's because you know when you get started sometimes I forgot to mention to Stephanie that when we are playing the video that they can hear her and they can hear her Mobile device. So, see, you learn these things as you go. How many know that when you get started, sometimes you don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. Yes, there is a time you got to get it perfect. I'm going to talk to Stephanie Franklin, by the way, I'm attorney over there. And sometimes when she's in court, she's got to get it right. But then there's another time you just got to get going. The feedback that y'all were hearing earlier is because we had two uh, devices going at the same time. That's been taken care of. We're back on track. Thank you, uh, Tashik, uh, Tashika Green, for telling us that. We got that fixed. Thank you, Charlene, for showing up. Look, Stephanie, I'm going to do a mic check, mic check. Can you hear me, Stephanie? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Look, for all of my entrepreneurs, for all of my peak performers, for everyone who showed up right now, and you know that you're a powerhouse woman, you know that this is your year, I like to start off every time by saying, allowing you to check in. Because you can see myself, you can see Stephanie, but guess what? Stephanie Franklin can't see you. No, she can't see you right now. So here's what I like for you to do. I like for you to look right below the video, Madeline. Look right below the video, Tashika, uh, Tashika Green. Thanks a lot. Look right below the video, Kathleen. Look right below the video, Charlene. And go ahead and put your first name down, put your last name, and tell us the vision you have for the people you are called to serve. See, we're in a community here. And so we don't care about how many letters you have behind your name right now. We definitely don't care about your marquee clients. What I want to know is what vision do you have for the people you were called to serve? And I like to start off that way because you can connect with other communities. This is not just me talking or Stephanie talking. This is about you participating as well. So here's what I want you to do. Look right below the video and I would write Shay Brown. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to ask Stephanie Franklin that same question, and she'll be able to say, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. Maybe it's to transform lives. Maybe it's to help them grow their marketing. Maybe to serve is to help them live a higher quality of life. I don't know what your vision is, but i tell you one thing. Stephanie's online right now. She's watching, and we want to connect with you. So I'm going to do a mic check, mic check. Hey, Kershia Wooford, thanks for joining. Kathleen, thanks for joining, by the way. Thank you all for participating. Charlene, it's always a pleasure. Now, Charlene put down educating our youth. Charlene, what I'd like for you to do is put my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. Hey, C.F. Jackson, thanks for joining. Ayana Crawford, thanks for joining. Alice Boswell, thanks for joining. Margaret Jackson, tell us what your vision is for the people you're called to serve, by the way. Deborah Weatherpreneur, thanks for joining. What's your vision? Diana, thanks for joining. Deanna Antley, what's your vision? Rob, Rob is in the house. Y'all got Rob Henson in the house. Rob, what's your vision? Tara James, what's your vision for the people you were called to serve? Now, I like to start off every show, Stephanie, if it's okay, which I like to start off every show with our mantra. It's our belief, it's what my mentor taught me, Every single episode, especially when I can. And on this episode, I want to share D. Bowden is in the house. Look, look right below the video, everyone, and tell us what your vision is. C.F. Jackson said, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to take them from YouTube to TV easily 
and stream it. Oh my goodness, wanna learn about you. So Coney Prince is in the house. Love Coney Prince. He does a motivational Monday every single Monday. Y'all gotta check it out over at happyentrepreneurstribe.com. Again, happyentrepreneurstribe.com. Okay, Stephanie, we gotta get going, okay? Mic check, mic check. How you, how, how you feeling over there? I'm feeling great. Steph said, I got my microphone over here. She got a camera <laughs> over there. She said, Shay, what's going on with my photo? Look, don't worry about it. Here's, here's our mantra. Here's what we start off every single time. My mentor taught me this, and I read these words as everyone is listening right now. And here's the words. It's called the Champion's Creed. I see you, Charlene. I'm coming back to you. I see you, Lisa Farrell. I'm coming back to you. Ayana, I see you. You're putting down your vision for the people you're called to serve. But here's the Champion's Creed. I am not judged by the number of times I fail. But by the number of times I succeed and the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. Now, I'm going to say it again and then I'm going to go to Stephanie Franklin. Stephanie Franklin, she's the founder of Powerhouse Woman, right? She's a bad mamma jamma. She's a super duper <laughs> sister. And I'm going to ask her, what does it mean to keep on trying? What does, the, what does a powerhouse woman have to do in order to keep on trying no matter what? I'm coming to you in a minute, but first, I got to read the Champion's Creed. Look, here it is. I am not judged by the number of times I fail. I fail. I don't know about you sometimes, but I fail. But by the number of times I succeed, that means I got myself back up and I put one foot in front of the other foot, in front of the other foot, in front of the other foot. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying, and keep trying, and keep trying. Look, look, if you're out there listening right now, why don't we encourage someone else? Why don't we not make this about us, but why don't we make it about someone else before I go to Stephanie Franklin? Look, I want you to look right below the video. I want you to look right below the video. Now, some of you already hit the share button. Some of you hit the heart button. Some of you say, look, I'm giving some love. I'm giving some heart because I want someone to keep on going. They will leave in the Champion's Creed. So do me a favor. You look right below the video. All my digital note takers who are writing on this digital board that we have up there, I want you to look right now and look right below the video and write these words. Keep on going. Hashtag Champions Creed. That's just to encourage someone else that's working late. That's to encourage someone else that's getting up early in the morning. That's to encourage the mother that got to take care of two children and run her business and go to work every single day with no help at all. That's to help the father. Hey, I was a single dad. They got to do the exact same thing. You look right below the video. You look right below the video. Don't write these words for yourself, although they may mean you. Write it for them. Write this down right now. Keep on going. Hashtag Champions Creed. Keep on going. Hashtag Champions Creed. I want you to put that down. I want you to acknowledge someone else, Chantel. I want you to encourage someone else. Don't do it for yourself. Stephanie, I'm coming over to you, and I want you to talk about, we'll, we'll, we'll get to Powerhouse Network, woman. They can go mm -hmm. Google and find out all the work you do, and we're going to talk about that. But first, can I take a moment before you talk about Champions Creed? Can I, can I acknowledge a few folks who've written? I don't know if you can see it on your phone, but um, Charlene Harrell put, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to educate and help them in healthcare. Lisa Farrell. Now, can you can you can you see this on your on your phone over there? I can. Well, can you can you can you read Lisa Farrell's or Ayana? She just went by, so let me go to C. F. Jackson. Okay. Oh no, let me go on. Uh, keep on going. That's Cheryl Dion. <laughs> D. Bolton says, "Keep on going." All right. Hashtag Champions Creed. Okay. You got Charlene Howard. Hey. Um, Owumana, who says, "Keep on going." Hashtag Champion Creed. Tara James, keep on going, hashtag Champions Creed. Keep going, keep going. Kathleen Lynch, keep on going, hashtag Champions Creed. Madeline Bass, same thing, it's on and on. Right. Madeline, Madeline Bass is out there. Look, Tanya Bryant says keep on going. We appreciate all of the digital note takers writing on this digital board. Don't worry, you're going to hear from Stephanie, but let me just say with a couple people, their vision for the people they were called to serve. I asked you to write that down because I want to acknowledge you, the entrepreneur. You the speaker, you the author, you the business owner, you the one that's making a great day every single day. Uh, Lisa Farrell said, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to elevate the quality of life through home ownership. Iyana Crawford said, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to inspire them to travel overseas. Love it, by the way. Madeline Bass said, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to empower, inspire, and motivate them to be amazing they deserve to be. Tara James said, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to teach the kingdom, authority, financial freedom, and living out their divine purpose. 
Tyler, you got to work on that. I'm, I got a little confused on that. But that we, I think we got the point there. Uh, to, Shashika Green, you wrote, a, you wrote a dissertation here. My vision for the people I'm called <laughs> to serve is to help others to identify their gifts, talents, and skills, to leverage them to walk in purpose, achieve greatness by providing them with systems, structure, and resources. Whew. Look, at the end of the day, that was good, Tashina. Seriously, that was good. D. Bowden's in the house. Look, here's what I like to do. As I saw Cazette join on, Tammy Lawrence is in the house. Shari Robbins in the house. Minister Alfred Jones Ruby is in the house. Sakicha Hendrick. You got Sakicha Hendrick in the house. Oh, my gosh. She's down in Florida, by the way. You got to get up early. Tammy Lawrence said, keep on going. Do me a favor. Stephanie Franklin, attorney, Esquire, take a moment. And what do you say to powerhouse women? We're going to get to all the good you do. You travel around the world. You speak all over. You're an advocate. But take a moment and talk to the, the women out there. And Shea Brown, but the women out there right now, it's like, you know what? It's tough out here. Um, what does a powerhouse woman need to think and what they need mm -hmm. to do in order to keep on going? So let me tell you, you know, being a powerhouse woman, I think sometimes people think of it as you got to make a lot of money. You have to have a high position. Some of those things can aid in being a powerhouse woman. But those are not the real important things of being a powerhouse woman. Being a powerhouse woman means, number one, you need to know who you are. Be clear about your gifts. Be clear about your talents. Understand your shortcomings. Right. A lot of people only want to present the good face, right? The positive face, the the face that everybody shows to the public, but they never want to present their vulnerabilities. What a powerhouse woman is, is a woman who is not afraid to be vulnerable. Right. Is not afraid to be naked and expose herself for her shortcomings and how those shortcomings moved her to the next level by improving herself. That's number one. Knowing who you are is the foundation. Also, Shay, a powerhouse woman has to operate in excellence. You cannot call yourself a powerhouse and not operate in excellence. And let me tell you what I see. I see a lot of women being afraid to step fully into their power and own their gifts, own their talents, own their skills, and move themselves to a higher level. And they're afraid to do it because they're afraid to confront them. They're, they're afraid to leave people behind them in the past. And they're also very fearful of moving into a certain level of success. But in order to be a powerhouse woman, right, mm -hmm. you have to operate in excellence. A powerhouse woman isn't mediocre. And what we see a lot around the world is people being complacent and actually playing in mediocrity. That's not a powerhouse woman. She stands out. She elevates. She inspires. She empowers. She is an example. Woo, woo, she's right? there. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. She's, whoa. Whoa, she said, Shay, don't, don't ask me that question. Now, I'm going to let her continue. I'm not going I am interrupting her for a second only because I see Lisa Farrell said, wow. Minister Alfred Jones said, hashtag powerhouse woman. C.F. Jackson said, Dana, tune into this right now. Sylvia Browder is watching said, hashtag powerhouse woman will share her story. I'm, I'm going to get her story from her. Don't worry, I'm going to ask her a story. I'm going to ask her a story. Tashika Green said, know who you are, not afraid to be vulnerable. Is out there. Hey, James Haskin is in the house. Thanks a lot for joining, James. Thanks for joining, Kimberly Ayrton. Look, do me a favor. If you're a powerhouse woman and you know that this is your time, I'm going back over to Stephanie Franklin. I'm going back over to her to continue this conversation about being a powerhouse woman. I'm going over to her because she teaches women to be a powerhouse woman in business and in their life. I want you to make a de declaration. This is the affirmation. If you're a woman, if you're a guy, you just watch. You hit the heart button. You hit the like button. You encourage. If you are a woman, a powerhouse woman, and you know that this is your time, you know that this is your moment. You know that you were called to serve those and make this place much better than it is right now. Look right below the video. I'm asking you to do me a favor. Look right below the video. I'm asking you to participate. Look right below the video and digitize. Make a digital recording right now. All my digital note takers, all my digital note takers writing on this digital board, this digital board. And these videos do go viral. But I want you to bless someone else. Just put down, I am a hashtag powerhouse woman. Just put, I am a hashtag powerhouse woman. Just put, I am a powerhouse woman.
That's all I want you with. I am a hashtag, sorry, hashtag powerhouse woman. Go ahead and write those comments right now. Just, just look right below the video. And as you see someone write, I am a hashtag powerhouse woman, the hashtag is powerhouse woman. As you see those words and they're being written right now, someone's writing those digital notes right now. Hey, Stephen, thanks for joining, man. You're a brother, but you can join in with the rest of us because we're going to learn tonight. When you see those words and someone types that, I want you to hit the heart button. Don't just hit the like button. Hit the heart button. Encourage them and say, yes, you are. Either right now, there's some self-doubt. And I'm going to ask Stephanie to talk to him right now. Stephanie, somebody might be saying, look, Stephanie, I'm trying to be a powerhouse woman, but I'm going through a divorce. Stephanie, I'm trying to be a powerhouse woman, but my business went well, but I just lost a big contract. Stephanie, I'm working on being a powerhouse woman, but, 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 but you don't understand there's some challenges going on in my family right now. I'm writing those words. I am a hashtag powerhouse woman. I'm writing those words, Stephanie, but really, there's a little voice in the back of my head. And it's saying, there you go again with these affirmations. Look, Stephanie, I want you to talk to them. But as Tashina is writing, I am a powerhouse woman. And Cheryl's putting, I am a powerhouse woman. And Lisa Farrell put, I am a hashtag powerhouse woman. And Kimberly Frank, Kimberly Ayrton said, I am a hashtag powerhouse woman. Uh, D Bonus said, I am a hashtag powerhouse woman. C.F. Jacobs said, I am a what? Powerhouse woman. Hit the hard button. Hit the, hit the like button. Let's just encourage each other. Stephanie, what do you say to that person right now that's saying, I'm on track and then I'm off track, Stephanie. I'm on track, then I'm off track. What do you say to them? Because they are a hashtag powerhouse woman. Someone hit the share button right now. Hit the share button. Stephanie's not asking for no check tonight. She ain't asking for no cash app tonight. You don't need no wire payment, no credit card <laughs> needed. She came just to serve, just to serve you and to serve me. So hit the share button. When you hit that share button, I want you to write as fast as you can. I am a hashtag powerhouse woman. That's going to signal. It's going to go up right now. Stephanie, talk to the person out there that's saying, you don't know my situation. Can you tell them a little about your story? You, you don't know. You've got it easy. You're attorney over there, for goodness sake. Wait a minute. You run powerhouse woman. I mean, you got it going on. Can you talk to them for a moment? And as you do, I'm going to recognize uh, Sabrenda Bynes, who's out there, says, I am a hashtag powerhouse woman, and I shared. See, <laughs> Iris Austin, I see you. She was willing to share it with her community. She's willing to share it on her page. I'm going to ask you to hit the share button. This, this episode, this is all about you. This is all about you. All right, Stephanie, talk to him, if you will. So the powerhouse woman is always the woman who's met with challenge. Mm. That, that is usually a signal that you are a powerhouse woman. Nothing comes easy to a powerhouse woman. She's always met with challenge, right? Or obstacles, you know? Um, each time she moves forward, right? She feels like she may be taking several steps back, but really she is being tested in her endurance and her commitment to whatever purpose or goal she's looking to achieve. That's always the sign of a powerhouse woman. And when you know you've met a powerhouse woman is when that powerhouse woman continues despite the challenges, despite the setbacks, despite the obstacles. She continues to move forward and she is committed with focus to her goals and her purpose. Do I have some room to tell a little bit of a story here? Yes, absolutely. Look, look, look. Okay. I, absolutely. They're with you right now. Everyone, everyone look right below the video and just why don't we just welcome Dr. Look, Stephanie Franklin is just taking over. She's going to tell her story. Look right below the video and just say, welcome Stephanie S. Franklin. Just put, welcome <laughs> Stephanie S. Franklin. Let's, let's, let, let's give her a digital applause. She's about to tell her story. She's about to get down. Look, I didn't get a chance to say what I had to say. It don't matter. You look right below the video <laughs> and just type these words. Welcome Stephanie S. Franklin. Hashtag powerhouse woman. Just put welcome. We, we, we're going to welcome her to the Happy Entrepreneur Show. We're going to welcome her to the platform right now. She's going to share her story. And then I got some, I got some goodies that we're going to share with you that, that's going to come from her. So Cheryl, Diane says, welcome, Dr. Stephanie, by the way. Geneva Driver says she's watching. She says welcome as well. Tell your story. Lisa said, yes, let her tell her story. Tanya Bryan said, look, I shared it with my community, by the way. I'm okay with sharing this. Thank you so much. We appreciate every single one of you. You all matter. Over you, Stephanie Franklin. Tell us your story, by the way. As C.F. Jackson says, welcome, by the way. Lisa says, welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Geneva says, welcome. They're welcoming you in. Thank you all so much. Y'all rock. Take it away, Stephanie. Rock. 
stay around. So, you know, you talked about, okay, yeah, I'm an attorney. All right. Um, I'm a CEO of two companies. Okay. I'm an international speaker. Okay. I'm an author. Okay. But let me tell you something. I did not get to those things by it just being given to me. I, I, I want to I wanna move back to one particular story mm-hmm. about me and my law school journey. And I think this is really important. So I graduated from law school many years ago. I've been an attorney for over 20 years. And when I graduated from law school, I was a leader in law school. Um, I got a job very early before I graduated from law school. And I moved to New York City because I got my first legal job. And I was young. I was a young woman at that time. And I'm going to tell you something. I failed the bar. Four times, four times I failed the bar. And I'm going to tell you, I was embarrassed, right? I was disappointed. I was hurt and I wanted to give up. I did. I saw people passing the bar who were maybe not as bright as I was, who were not as accomplished as I was, who had not been in many leadership positions that I had been in. I saw people passing the bar, moving on with their careers and their lives, and they were very happy. Meanwhile, I had to move back home, move back in with my parents. God bless them. I had a place to go to, Mm -hmm. right? Rent free. That was a blessing. And then I had to be a temporary secretary in the high school that I graduated from. And I had a Juris Doctor degree. What? I didn't know that. Yes. I had a Juris Doctor degree and I moved back home with my parents into my room that I was living in since I was nine and a half years old. And it was my father that kept encouraging me. He said, you need to take this exam because it wasn't about how much I knew. It wasn't about how bright I was. I would actually get to that exam the very first time I took it. And I literally couldn't read the words on the page. Mm. I was that stressed. Mm. I was that fearful. I felt like I had that much pressure, that much burden on my shoulders. I wanted to make my parents proud. There were so many things. I just thought, you know, there was so much riding on this that I actually was so stressed that I couldn't even take the exam. And it happened several times. And I see a lot of people, a lot of law graduates struggling sometimes with taking this bar because they think it's about the information. It's not about the information. It's about how you have complete control and confidence over your ability to perform on that test on that day. But all I could see at that time was my peers moving on again with their careers, with their lives, while I was temping as a secretary in the high school that I graduated from. Mm. And I got to tell you, it was a real difficult time for me. But let me tell you what changed. It changed when I began to embrace more of my spiritual journey. When I began to do more inner journeying in myself and into myself to understand who I was really, what I was called to do, and whether or not I deeply believed in myself. And what I recognized as being a woman who is a descendant of captive Africans enslaved in the U.S., I had taken on all of the messaging that the world has told me that I was right, that my skin and my hair, my skin was too dark. My hair was too kinky, right, to have a brain in my head, that being a lawyer was beyond my station, right, that, you know, I I'm a person who needs to be relegated to a particular space in a particular role that I was not smart enough to be an attorney because this is the messaging that not just me, 
But all decals women, all black women, all black men get their entire lives. It doesn't matter how supportive their family members have been, how much their family members have loved them or exposed them to many things. But the world constantly tells us that we're nothing. And I recognize that part of the reason why I was freezing on this exam was that internally I did not feel that I was worthy enough to be an attorney. And again, that shifted, that changed when I started doing the deeper inner journey and when I started to really fully understand who I was. And I don't mean on the surface level. I don't mean those stickers that I told you about, right? Those things like, oh, I went to law school. Oh, I I did this. So, oh, I led that. That wasn't it. It was when I began to really commune with God and say, okay, What have you called me to do? What am I missing here? And what I did not know is that all that struggle led to me excelling and excelling past my peers. It led me to starting my own law firm. It led me to being able to produce a multi-million dollar revenue stream over 12 years. It led me to starting my second company, which is Powerhouse, right? Where now I coach women, right? I help women build socially driven mission-based businesses. I help women unmute their voice. I help women step into their power because see the voice, the story, the experience is important. So I'm going to tell those women who are meeting with obstacles. I'm going to tell those women who are meeting with challenge. I am setting, telling those women who are meeting with setbacks that generally it is you who is called to be the powerhouse. It is you who will set the example. It is you who will empower and inspire. It is inspire. It is your duty to do so. So embrace the setbacks. They teach you lessons. They teach you valuable lessons. And if you are willing to be quiet, if you are willing to be truthful, if you are willing to be naked, and if you are willing to be humble, God whispers to us quietly. We miss the we miss the the, the 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 secrets all the time because we're so busy looking externally. We're so busy chatting. We're so busy talking, but we never settle down to quietly listen. And when you do that, you start to get the messages that are only for you. And when you start having that faith to walk the path that you are destined and divined, and I want to underscore that, divined to walk, you begin to walk into your power and then you begin to operate in excellence because you know who you are and you're committed to your purpose, your mission, and your goal. When you have that unwavering faith, when you have that commitment Regardless of what it looks like right now in the present, but you have the commitment to the future you, to what you've been called to be. When you allow yourself to step forward into the bigness of who you are, that's when you become the powerhouse woman. So understand, like I said, the powerhouse woman will always experience setbacks. That's a precursor to her becoming a powerhouse. So endure, embrace and learn, it'll move you to your next level. Embrace and learn. Look, do me a do me a, do me a favor. As she's talking right now, I'm gonna come back over to her in just a second. I want you to do me a favor as you're joining. I see Crystal Cunningham. I see Boundless. I see all of you are making comments now. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and just write these words. It's time to hashtag unmute me. It's time to hashtag unmute me. Now you use those words, hashtag unmute me. I don't know what that means. It sounded good to me. It sounded about unmute you. So can you, can you, can you, look, I know we don't have a script, I get it. But I like that. Look, okay, unmute me, hashtag unmute me, hashtag unmute me. Look, all my digital recorders out there that are hitting the share button. I want you to hit the share button right now. Just hit the share button right now. Also, I want you to look right below the video, look right below the video and write these words. It's time 
to unmute me. I'm sorry, it's time to hashtag unmute me. Put it's time to hashtag unmute me. It's time to what? Hashtag unmute me. And I'm gonna ask Stephanie Franklin, I'm gonna ask her if she'll peel back that big black curtain, if you would, and kind of reach into her treasure, her treasure chest of secrets that you have down there and talk about one, what does hashtag unmute me mean? She said it, I heard her say it, you heard her say it. And I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> talk about that. I like, I'm, I'm a guy, I get it. I like the whole powerhouse woman, I get it. And I also like that unmute me. She's talking to the woman out there right now, um, but put it's time to hashtag unmute me. Stephanie Franklin, you put it out there, you dropped the nugget, you, you were sharing it. Someone hit the share button, someone just hit the heart button, someone just right below the video, go Stephanie, go. Hashtag unmute me. Talk about what hashtag unmute me means, tell me what it's about. I know there's this movement that you've kind of stirred up around here, by the way, um, and all your crazy travel you've been doing. So I'm going to ask you a two-part question. Number one, step back and talk about hashtag unmute me, and then mm -hmm. talk about how you've seen things in your travels. I'm assuming you travel somewhere outside of Washington, D.C., and what you've seen <laughs> and how that relates to hashtag unmute me for the powerhouse woman. Now, now Crystal Cunningham, who you'll get a chance to meet in North Carolina, said it's time to unmute me. You need to unmute it. I don't know what you're going to talk about, but you better figure that thing out right now. I'm going to tell you that because they're out there. Amber Woods is watching. Tashika Green is watching. Uh, Sylvia Broder said, it's time to unmute me. Crystal Cunningham said, it's time to unmute me. Lisa Farrell said, it's time to unmute me, by the way. Um, Dee Bowden said, it's time to unmute me. Cheryl Diane said, it's time to unmute me. Amber Wood, who leads the blind, by the way, she's listening and she's able to listen and record back. She's writing, this is really interesting. But it's time to unmute me. Cheryl said, Shay, tell Stephanie just to tell us. Okay, Stephanie, <laughs> that's my cue to let go and turn it back over to you. Uh, talk about hashtag unmute me. What is this all about? I love it. So uh, I'm going to say to Shay, I I love the alignment that we, we're having right now because you asked me a second question, which relates to the first question. So I knew she remember. I knew she remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. No, it was good. So hashtag unmute me. God, I, I I love that. So it's about women being able to speak their voice, right? It's about this. This is what I know. I have traveled all over the world, right? So. I've, I've, I've been to Nigeria, I've been to Haiti, I've been to Venezuela, I've been to Brazil, I've been to England, I've been to Canada. You know, um, I was just quite frankly um, last weekend in Vancouver and I was speaking. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about Unmute Me, it is that the voices of women globally, not just here in the States, but the voices of women globally are muted. And they're muted because the structure has created it such that we don't, first of all, our voices tend to overall not be valued. Mm -hmm. And that's globally, right? It doesn't matter the race, the ethnicity, the region in the world, the economic status. It doesn't matter. Our voices as a whole have been muted, right? Mm -hmm. um, because we are taught that we may not have very much valuable to say. That's number one. Number two, our voices are oftentimes muted because people don't want to hear about the pain and the suffering that women and girls can endure, right, um, throughout the world. There's some very, very ugly things that happen to women and girls in the world, and we don't want to hear about it. But see, now it's time for a change. The world is changing. This is the year of the woman, and it is time for her to unmute her voice. It is time for her to speak her story. Okay. It is time for her voice to be heard and it's time for her voice to be expressed. Whether it's, you, uh, whether it is expressed outwardly or if it's expressed in the way that she may move or the way that she may write or, you know, her signature sound, there's, there, there's a calling at this juncture for a woman's voice to be heard. I want to tell you a story. Mm -hmm. I was in Vancouver, like I said, last Saturday, and I was speaking at a woman's conference. And after my speech, there were several women um, that had come up 
to me. And one in particular I remembered because she was um, an Asian woman of South Asian descent. Um, She was Indian. And she came up to me in tears, very broken. And she could barely talk. And what she told me, was that in her family, because she was a woman, she was not expected to nor allowed to do certain things. And there were things that she wanted to express verbally, but they were not allowed in her family. And she said she felt all of this power right here in her chest and right here in her throat, in her throat chakra. There was so much that she wanted to say. And she was trembling when she was telling me this. And she was breaking down in tears when she was telling me this. But she said she just didn't feel strong enough and did not feel valued enough to be able to speak her story. And that's when I said, hashtag unmute me, hashtag unmute me, hashtag unmute me, because this is what we know. As I indicated earlier, women all over the globe, their voices are muted. Here in the United States of America, descendants of captive Africans enslaved in the US, their voices are muted here. Black people's voices are muted. All over the globe, black people's voices are muted. Hashtag unmute me is saying we are unraveling. We are speaking our voice. We are speaking our truth. We are speaking our story. We are letting the world know who we are. We are letting the world know that we are living in suffering and that we will no longer live in suffering anymore because we have something to teach you. And in teaching you, you will learn how to elevate your spirit. You will learn how to elevate your humanity. This is what hashtag unmute me will do. It will do that for others, but what it will be due to the person who is unmuted is that they will begin to feel the power and the confidence about who God really made them to be. That they will then step fully in alignment with their purpose and with their destiny and unravel the world and bring good to the world and say, here I am. See me. I matter. I'm important. My story is important. My experience is important because too many women and too many black folks feel unimportant that we are not worthy, that we are not valued. And again, these are these external messages that we have gotten subliminally and overtly our entire lives. And it's time to kick off those shackles, regardless of whether or not you are a black person or whether or not you are a woman. It is time to release the chains. It is time for her to step fully into who she are, she is and what she's been called to be. Hashtag unmute me. Her voice needs to be heard. How she expresses herself needs to be heard. The suffering must be lifted and she must step into the power of who she's called to be to elevate all of humanity. Hashtag unmute your voice. Hashtag tell your story and unmute your voice. Hashtag your story must be told. You know, Kimberly Ayrton said, preach out there. Crystal Cunningham said, my goodness, this is true. God is telling his daughters to tell their truth right now. Is it releasing? Demita, thanks a lot for joining. You're at the right place at the right time. Cheryl Graham is on here. Cheryl Graham is often listening, by the way. She's out in California. Um, she's been in business for over 60 some years. Says, yeah, she's always learning. She's taking notes right now. Look, here's what I want you to do. Some of you, as you're listening right now, you're listening to Stephanie Franklin, right? And she's talking about unmute me. And we don't worry, we're going to have her back. Don't worry, we'll have her talk again. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. But I want you to look right below the video, look right below the video. And I want you to write this. Our stories must be told. Should I say that? Or your story, my story must be told. Hashtag unmute me. My story must be told. Hashtag unmute me. My story must be told. Hashtag unmute me. Just go ahead and write that down. That's that's that that's a signal to another woman out there. That's a back code to someone else that says, you know what? Yeah, my, my story matters. Yes, it's time to unmute my voice. Unmute my voice in my business. Unmute my voice in my relationships. Unmute my voice in my own head. Unmute my voice in my finances. You are a powerhouse woman. She gave the definition of what that means earlier. 
and I hear you as you're out there talking right away. Uh, Juanita, you got Juanita in the house, all the way from South. Hey, Juanita, thanks a lot for joining, by the way. Crystal says, our stories must be told. Hashtag unmute me. Uh, Deborah saying, our stories must be told. Hashtag unmute me. As you're doing that and you see someone write that down, you see it right below the video, hit the heart button. Hit the, hit, don't, don't just hit the like button, just, just hit the heart button. If you feel this, but I feel you. The, the reason this is important is as you're listening to Stephanie Franklin going on right now, you've got to be asking the question, Stephanie, what's one thing that I can do to unmute my voice? Uh, 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 Stephanie, can you give me one step that I can take? Uh, Stephanie, I can't travel all over the world like you are right now. Stephanie, I've got to run my local business. Stephanie, I've got to take care of my family. But Stephanie, what can I do? Don't worry, we'll talk about this movement. She's not going anywhere. Maybe she'll come back and give us some shirts. Unmute my voice. That's a topic for another time. I, I'd, I'd wear that as a guy. I'd wear it. I'd wear, I'd wear the shirt as long as it's for a guy. But in all seriousness, uh, Stephanie, Tammy Lawrence says, my story must be told. Tanya Bryant said, my story must be told. Hashtag unmute me, by the way. Chris says, I am a powerhouse woman. Kimberly Ayrton said, my story must be told. Hashtag unmute me. You know, every time you make a comment on this digital board, all our digital recorders, every time you type something down, you're planting something to your own subconscious mind. Um, and you're seeing it, you're hearing it, and then you're recording it, but you're also paying it forward when you write on that digital board. We write on that digital board, and we believe in the giver's economy here. We believe in the giver's economy. The person that outgives the competition out earns the competition. The person that outgives the competition out earns the competition. So what I'd like for you to do is two things. And then, Stephanie, I'm going to come over to you. Maybe you give them a step one and a step two that, that they can do. I know I know we're in overtime. Stephanie said, how long are we going to be, Shay? I said, I don't know. But can you hang out for just a little bit? She said, sure. And, yeah, she's going to come back with a step one and a step two and a step three. I see we got even Eric Ehrlich is out there watching. Eric is out there in Florida, by the way. He's a... Um, he, he, he has a company called uh, Marriage Can Win, him and his wife, Sakisha. You, gotta, you, gotta, you have to make sure I connect you with them, by the way. They, they, they do an amazing conference. I haven't been myself yet, but I've seen all the photos. I've seen all the stuff there. Can't wait to attend, by the way. He's just an amazing, him and his wife. I don't know what Eric does. His wife is incredible. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> but she really is, Stephanie. She really is. Here's, here's what I want to do. Some of you want to get the video. I get it. Some of you want to stay in the conversation over and beyond. I get it. Some of you are like, Shay. I just need help. I get it. Here's what I want you to do. Look right below the video and you can text the word revenue. Text the word revenue right now and you can get the replay, you can get the notes, you can get the business toolbox, but text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. So you just open up your phone right now, open up your phone right now, and I want you to do me a favor. Go to the browser, the messaging section, type in 202-999-3515 text the word revenue text the word revenue to get the notes don't worry i'm gonna ask stephanie franklin when she's doing something amazing to make sure we all are included i'm gonna ask her when when she's talking later on i'm gonna bring her back on here by the way talk a little bit about this unmute me because she didn't unravel something by the way they, they're hitting hashtag unmute me that sounds like it's a whole movement by itself but um i'm gonna ask her if some of you right now you're texting the word revenue i get it to 202 nine 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 three five one five again two oh two nine 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 three five one five text the word revenue text the word revenue get the notes stay in the conversation get the business toolbox and the secret gift and the secret gift with that being said stephanie i'm gonna come to you because i want you to to share the one two and three maybe one thing or two things they can do just one or two takeaways that they can do i know you talk about mindset mastery you talk about so yes. much in in what you do First, I'm going to pause for two minutes, and they'll be able to hear you, but I'm going to pause for just two minutes, and, and, and then I'm going I'm to share um, Dr. Kinette Thickpin. She, she does the word of the, she does the thought of the week, her and Letitia. So I, I, I'm going to play, it's about, it's about a, this is a short, where y'all all listen in, because she is a power woman as well in her own right. Then I'm going to ask Stephanie, I'm going to say, Stephanie, you know, teach us something. I'm going to take some notes. I'm going to be on the front row. Give us the one or two steps. She has like a bunch of steps, right? But maybe she'll give you one or two, just a sneak preview, a sneak preview, so you can unmute your voice. I don't know if it's about mindset. I don't know if it's about support system. I'll let her figure that out. Hint, hint. You better get ready. She ain't know what we're going to do. I ain't know. All right, on the count of three, can you guys, you guys go ahead and play that for them on the count of three? Okay, one, two, three. We're going right now to commercial number one. This is going to be so cool. 
Hello, and my name is Dr. Kenneth Thigpen, also known as Dr. K. I am the founder of Rise Women's Network, and Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you hashtag Next Sister Up. You see, Next Sister Up is designed to help women to step fully into their purpose, to show up passionately and purposefully in this world, and to be extraordinary. Today, I'm here with you in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe to give you the thought of the week. And the thought of the week is be persistent. Be persistent. You see, oftentimes in this world, the difference between someone who is successful and someone who is unsuccessful is how persistent they are. So I ask you, how persistent are you? You see, when someone tells you no and you were hoping for a yes, are you still persistent? When things don't go as planned, are you still persistent? When you have one set of expectations and someone else has another, are you still persistent? When you think things are going to be a little bit easy and they end up being hard, are you still persistent? You see, when I think of the word persistent, I now know what my grandmother was talking about. No, she didn't use the word persistent, but she used the phrase, press on. When she was sick and not feeling well, she would say, I'm going to press on. When things weren't going as planned and the doctors would tell her one thing, she would say, I'm going to press on. And what she was saying is, in spite of and despite of, I am going to continue my journey. And so again, I ask you, are you willing to be persistent? And are you willing to press on? You know what? You're not just some woman. You're not just any woman. You are hashtag next sister up. You know what? I believe in you. I want to support you. I want to be clapping for you, cheering for you, guiding you, and loving you all the way through your breakthrough. I'm Dr. K with your thought of the week. I'll see you next time. Take care. Next time, we'll take care of none other than Dr. Kinette Thigpen. Uh, everyone do me a favor. Let's give her a shout out. She made a commitment and said, hey, Shay, I want to share the thought of the week with the community. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and just put uh, at Dr. Kinnett, or you can put Dr. K if you want. Kinnett is K-E-N-N-E-T-T. -T. You can put at Kinnett Thigpen. Just put thank you, hashtag next sister up. Just put thank you, hashtag next sister up. Just put thank you, hashtag next sister up. And you can tag Dr. Kinnett Thigpen. Or you can put Dr. K if you want, but Dr. Kinnett Thigpen. Let's give her a shout out. Let's give her a shout out. Say, hey, Shay, you know, I can be up some late. I travel, but I just want to share my message. And the message was be persistent. And I believe it was just in line. It was very much in line with what we're hearing tonight from Stephanie Franklin, um, attorney, a founder of Powerhouse Women's Network. Michelle Pillar, she's just like you. Audrey Hyman, who travels all over the world as well, she's just like you. Carmelita Walker, she's just like you. She's a sister out here, not just so much doing her thing, but making a difference. And she stopped this evening. She stopped for the Happy Entrepreneur Show just to share with you her words of encouragement to help you in your life and in your business. And yes, you will be persistent. Yes, you will continue to move forward. So, so Stephanie Franklin, and I see you out there, Crystal, thanks a lot. Cheryl, thanks a lot. Lisa, thanks a lot. They're giving a shout out. Hey, Mimi. Mimi's in the house, by the way. Thank you so much. Uh, Carmelita says, thank you, Dr. K. She's in the house. I'm going over now to none other than Stephanie Franklin, who you've been listening to, who's been speaking from the heart. Um, we didn't have a run sheet, note. She didn't demand from a piece of paper. She just said, Shay, I'm here to serve. Shay, I'm here to serve. Shay, the audience you're speaking to, I have a vision for the people I'm called to serve. And my people are there on the other side, tuning into the show. I believe in the mission the goals and the objectives. Let me tell you again, the mission, the goals and the objectives. Let me say a little slower, the mission and the goals and the objectives of the Happy Entrepreneur Show and the of the Happy Entrepreneur Network is to inspire, is to empower and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And that's what Stephanie Franklin is doing right now. She's sharing her vision for the people you were called to serve. And no matter what they say, no matter what they tell us, the one mantra that I almost say every single night, every single day, is that the results that show up in your life are just 
as important as those results that show up in your bank account. And while Stephanie Franklin could talk to you all day about results in your business and results in your bank account, she understands that first you've got to have some results in your life. And she made a statement earlier. I'm going to ask her to repeat it. She said, every powerhouse woman will be met with a challenge. Or, or she, I, I did a Shea Brown remix. I'm part of the Puff Daddy generation, okay? I did a Shea Brown <laughs> remix on it. But I'm going to ask her to start, when she starts her next segment, which she didn't know she was going to do, when she starts giving you at least one or two steps that you can do, I'm going to ask her if she'll go back and frame that conversation because she said a powerhouse woman is always met with a challenge or always has a setback or something of that nature. But, but, but I want her to frame that and then give you something that you can take away. So, so, so get your paper, get your pen, uh, for those that use that, for my digital note takers, right now on the digital board, this world to pay this for, this is your gift to the world. This is how you pay it for it. This is, I want you to, as she's talking, take some notes, put the notes right below, put the notes right below the video, bless someone else, love on someone else, help someone else who might be listening to the podcast right now. They can't take notes. Maybe listen to the conference call. They can't take notes. Maybe listen to a syndicated part of this message. Many of you allow us to syndicate this in to your private groups that you have out there so someone else can hear this message. Thank you for doing that. Stephanie Franklin, take it away. Give us um, one or two nuggets, something we can take away um, to unmute our, ver um, unmute our voice and be a powerhouse woman. So, you know, you wanted me to frame it, Shay, around a powerhouse woman always meets a challenge, right? And so this is, this is the one thing that I, th 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 this is a principle and this is a thing I want you to do. It, it, it's something that you, it, it, an action step you need to take because it's one thing to talk about something, but you got to put it in to action in order for it to have the results you wanted to have. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to challenge women to begin to surround themselves around women who they aspire to be. And unfortunately, I think oftentimes women don't want to do that. They want to stay um, connected with people who are no longer energetically aligned with them. They want to stay around people who are safe, right? Because that's the space that is familiar for them. That is the space that is, <clears throat> excuse me, comfortable for them. But when you are in the process of transition, and if you are in the process of unmuting your voice, whether you're unmuting your voice to step fully into your giftings in business, whether you are unmuting your voice to step, you know, directly and swiftly and powerfully into leadership. Right. When you are doing these things, you may not already be there. You have to walk into your future self. So in order to fully walk into your future self, you have to stretch and stretching calls for you to surround yourself with other women who have elevated themselves above in many ways above you. And I don't mean that they're better than you, you know, um, or that they're superior to you. What I am saying is that these are women placed in a particular position or have a particular mindset, right, where you want to be. Because what happens is we can be around people when we are moving to our next level who really don't want us to do well. Mm -hmm. And it can be painful and it can be hurtful. Right. And sometimes we need to leave those relationships behind. And that can be very challenging and very difficult. And a lot of women don't want to make that step forward. But in order to do that, to move to your next level, to ascend to where you need to be, you need to surround yourself with other powerhouse women. And remember, those powerhouse women are those who've met with challenges, are speaking their stories, are vulnerable, are open about it, honest about it, truthful about it, and are willing to share that with you and bring you up with them, to elevate you with them. So my challenge to you 
is this week, I want you to think about one powerhouse woman who you aspire to be in the position where she is, right? Who, whether she is doing great things in business, whether she is doing powerful things in leadership, I want you to think about that one woman who you think is the next level up where you want to be. And I want you, and and, and some of you may say, oh, you know, famous people. I don't even want you to think about famous people. I want you to think about regular folk who are within your reach that you can say, hey, I'm calling you because I think you're fabulous. I looked at the way you closed a particular deal. I looked at, you know, what you've done in business. I looked at how you've led your team. And I want to learn from you. Is there any way I can connect with you, whether it's through mentorship, whether it's through having lunch with you sometimes or getting tidbits? Right. I want you to identify that one powerhouse woman who, you know, is a powerhouse woman who is in an elevated status, and I want you to connect with her this week. That's going to separate the women from the girls. Mm -hmm. Willing to be vulnerable, willing to be open, willing to be truthful, and willing to say, hey, I need your help. You are an example. I admire you. What can I do to elevate my game? This week, one woman, find her. So this week, find one woman. That was one idea. I'm going to ask you to give another idea in just a moment. Um, and, and as you're writing those notes, everyone look right below the video and just find, just write the note that she said, find another woman and connect with her. Just, just write that down. And as I see folks out there like Tammy, who's saying powerful, Mimi, who's saying powerful, uh, Tony Leggett, you bring out the all-stars, by the way, says, wow, Tony's listening. Thanks a lot, Tony. Rome Madison, what's up, Rome? Got to have you on, man. Make sure you send me a note. Rome is out there taking notes, by the way. Always a student. The one thing we know about all superstars, Stephanie, is all superstars hold one common belief. And that one common belief that all superstars have, all powerhouse women have, the one belief is we can always get better. It's like the one common belief. It's the common denominator between all of us. So, so thank you, one, for showing up. Thank you all who are paying this message forward. Thank you for participating in the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country because of you, all of you who share it out and all of you pay it forward. But it's, as Stephanie was, was talking, it kind of struck me a little differently. Now, I know some of you over at happyentrepreneurstribe.com, look, you can stay in the conversation. I got it. Now, some of you are texting the word revenue right now, so you get the notes, you want the replay, you want the business toolbox. I get it. You can still do that. You can just text the word revenue, text the word revenue, text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. The number's right there. The number's right there. But for those that take action now, for those that take action now, just text the word revenue, to 202-999-3515, a couple things take place. Number one is you'll get the notes, you get the business toolbox, and then you get the secret gift. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You got to text the word revenue. You get it. You get it. But then all those actions you've taken, they've all been for you, right? You text the word revenue because you wanted something so you can pay it to someone else. You wrote down comments for you. Some of you wrote on a digital board for you. What I want you to do right now so I want you to encourage just one woman that you know. Now, if you're a man, you can do this. If you're female, you can do this. Some of you hit the heart button already because you, you just, I love it, Shay. I love it. Thank you so much. Some of you hit the share button. I appreciate you sharing this message forward. But now, it's not about Stephanie Franklin. It's not about Shay Brown. It's not about a credit card. It's not about swipe to succeed. It's not about a cash app payment. This is about what can you do to help someone else. Here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. You're going to look right below the video and you're going to put you are a hashtag powerhouse woman and then tag someone that you know. See, it's not about you. It's not about you. So, so you look right below the video like I will look right below the video, video and I'll put you are a powerhouse woman at Stephanie Franklin. Like I would tag, that could be the person maybe I'm going to tag. See, those digital comments, when you say that to someone else, someone else is going to get that tag. I get it. But then they're going to see that message that you are a powerhouse woman. That's a statement. That's for you to bless someone else. That's for you to encourage someone else. I'm going to ask you to do it for me. It's not about me. 
but you do it for yourself. So you just look right below the video, look right below the video and put you are a hashtag powerhouse woman and then tag someone else. And as you're doing that, that's a code that you know what, Shay? I'm not holding this to myself, Shay. I'm not going to hold it to myself. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to release and I'm going to allow someone else to enjoy the gift that Stephanie Franklin is empowering. And I want you to think for a moment. You woke up in the morning and there was a message that said, you are a powerhouse woman at Crystal Cunningham. How would you feel? I wake up in the morning and says, you are a powerhouse woman at Stephanie Franklin. I see that. How would I feel? You are a powerhouse woman at someone. It's going to make their day. It gives them a little encouragement. It allows them to know they're doing some good things in the world. Now, now Stephanie, I know we're going to give you a moment to, to give the last point, then your closing comments. So you give the last point in just a moment, and I'll make some comments, and it will allow you to give your closing comments. But I want to recognize someone else who is a powerhouse woman. Her name is Letitia Nicole Betty. Letitia, L-A-T-I-C-I-A, -I -I Nicole Betty. She was on, and, and she said, you know, Shay, I like to share my thought a week. Shay, I like to share something. She's a short message, by the way, just a very short message. But I, I promised her that I would share it with the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe because we, we really appreciate all our Happy Happypreneur reporters. That's what I call them. <laughs> I just made that up. Trevor Ott, you got you to gotta fix that for me. But my happy Panor reporters. These are folks who are out there every single day and they come back and report to help us. Now, remember, happy doesn't mean that you jump up and down every day. Happy doesn't mean that you are naive. Happy does not. You can, you can, you can be happy, I should say, but you're not naive. You can be happy, but it doesn't mean that you believe every day is rainbows, unicorns and cupcakes. Um, you can be a happy entrepreneur but you don't work for free. Happy, but I don't work for free, right? Happy, but I don't work for free. Happy doesn't mean you're jumping up and down every day with a big smile on your face. It's not what it's about. What it's about is about making a difference. Happy doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. Your stuff don't smell. It means you keep on going no matter what. So I'm gonna play this very quickly and then I'm, I'm gonna come back. Jane Pulley is in the house. Hey, Jane Pulley, thanks for joining, by the way. Crystal said, you are a powerhouse woman at Stephanie Franklin. Uh, Kimberly said, you are a powerhouse woman at Lisa Wilson, C.F. Jackson said, you are a powerhouse woman. Sarah Grant, D. Bolden said, you are a powerhouse woman. Kim, uh, Kimberly Erdes said, you are a powerhouse woman. Alyssa Jones, they recognize you. Um, Lisa Farrell said, you are a powerhouse woman. Pharrell, Tamika La, La, uh, Lafayette, I think I got that right. Thank you all for acknowledging. Let me, let me go ahead and share this message right now. This message comes from none other than the, not a, but the, not a, Letitia, Nicole, Betty. Y'all cue it up and let's play that for them right now. Hello and good midday Monday motivation to all the happy entrepreneurs in here today. As promised, last week I promised Shay that I would do a Monday motivation. And here I am today to do it. And what better way to start out with not just affirmations, but today I read my Bible, and you know that's where I come from. That's where the principles come from. If you apply them, if you believe, you manifest them. And today in Hebrews 3, I read, now I want y'all to hear this. It says, if indeed we hold firmly to our confidence, boom. We could have just dropped the mic right there. Hold firmly to our confidence. When I heard, heard firmly to our confidence, I immediately, my mind went into business. My mind went into relationships. My mind went into career. And I said, are we holding firmly to our confidence? Or are we allowing people, places, and things to stop us from being who we were designed to be? Let me tell you something. You are an amazing business owner. So I'm going to say this to you. Hold firmly to your confidence and say, let there be more clients. Let there be an increase of revenue. Let there be power partners waiting to partner with you. Let there be speaking paid engagements just waiting on you. All right? Hold firmly to your confidence because there's too many forces out there trying to grab your confidence from you. But I'm telling you today, just hold on to it and keep going in your business and stay happy. All right, entrepreneur. My name is Letitia Nicole and I speak life so that we all may have life more abundantly. Thank you.
I'll ask, give it up for Letitia Nicole, no other than the Letitia Nicole. Do me a favor, look right below the video. I like to acknowledge folks who take time to bless us. That was done for the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. She didn't ask me for a check. She just said, Che, I just want to bless someone else. So as I played that message, look right below the video, look right below the video. Let's put thank you at Letitia, L-A-T-I-C-I-A, -I -I Betty. Let's put thank you at Letitia, Betty. Let's, let's, let's give her a warm welcome. Let's give her a warm virtual thank you for all that she's done. Justin Morgan is tuned in. Hey, Justin Morgan. He's amazing and incredible. He's a tech guy, man. If you haven't connected, you've got to connect with the Justin Morgan. I want to give a shout out to Melissa. Melissa Lambert. She's in the house. Oh, my gosh. Leah Jones in the house from Philadelphia is in the house. Y'all are with none other than the one, not A, but the Stephanie Franklin. Stephanie Franklin, give us one more idea. You know, I, I, um, you can pick what is mindset mastery. I like, I like when you talk about being consistent um, because... You know, a, a lot of folks that are watching right now, they're, they're tuned in and they're thinking, this, this is really good. This is really good. And it is good. It is good. And I remember when I was, when I was having a conversation, just want to make sure we're live, having a conversation with my dad. And the reason I want you to talk about being consistent is Trevor and I was talking to my dad and my, my father gave this statement, which I heard him say a thousand times, right? It, it ignited Trevor, but it's always carried me and my family. But he said, look, and this is why I want you to talk about being consistent. If it's easy to do, it's easy not to do. If it's hard, do it first. I'm like, okay, if it's hard, do it first. Why would I do the hard thing first, right? There's a very logical question to ask, which I asked. I've been asked since I was a kid. Why? His answer has always been the same. His answer was, doing the hard things in life develops discipline develops discipline. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask Stephanie Franklin to talk about being consistent because as you got inspired and empowered and motivated, we don't want you shouting and jumping up and down. We want you to be consistent in your walk and being a powerhouse woman. See, one of the things that my dad said, now I want someone to jot this right below the notes. Let's put this right below the notes. This is the D plus the D equals D formula. I finally got my own letters, by the way, Stephanie. It took a while to get that out of Trevor's head, but I got my own D's. I said, look, my dad said this. They're all D's. He said, okay, it makes sense. But Decisions minus discipline equals disaster. So I know you have the best intentions, and I always like to say that the best intentions don't equal the best results. That's a shayism, by the way. The best intentions don't equal the best results. So you, you make a decision tonight that you're going to be a powerhouse woman. Sounded good. You make a decision that you're going to unmute your voice. I got to unmute me. But minus the discipline is going to equal disaster. But, but let, let's check that formula. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me reverse that formula for the powerhouse woman. Let me reverse that formula for the person who follows the steps that Stephanie Franklin has given. Let me give you the formula that's going to help release you. Here it is. D plus D equals D. D is decisions. You make a decision. Now you choose. I am a powerhouse woman. I am a powerhouse woman. My story matters. I am a powerhouse woman. Unmute my voice no matter what atmosphere I'm in. So you make a decision plus you have the discipline that's doing the things you know you should do when you don't feel like doing it. Discipline. Yep. That will equal dominion. I don't have time to break down dominion. I just, that's my father's favorite word. I don't have time to talk about dominion. It's in the Bible. It's in the good book. But Decision. Someone, someone, someone jot this formula. Look right below the notes. Look right below the look right below the notes. Hey, Daryl Johnson. Look right below the notes. Hey, Mia. Hey, Melissa. Decisions plus discipline equal dominion. So as I, as I lay that out to you, as you're listening right now, the best intentions don't equal the best results. I want to come back over to Stephanie Franklin. I'm gonna give, give her one more idea. Then I'm gonna give her her closing comments. I'm gonna give her one more idea. Then I'm give her closing comments. But. I wanted to talk about any one of the ideas. Yes, she has so many ideas. I just like being consistent because the part mm -hmm. of the show is, yes, to give you the resources that you need to be successful, but just give you the resources without having the discipline, without being consistent, without doing a number of things. It, it's good in the moment, but long term, it kind of goes up and kind of goes down. And you may have heard this phrase before that consistency is the key Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. But having said that, what do most people struggle with? And you're right. Consistency. I heard you loud and clear. Like, consistency, Shay. It is, in fact, consistency. So this, this conversation, as you're tuning in, you're listening, and you're thinking about, wow, 
Wow, wow. I'm, I'm listening to Stephanie Franklin. I want her to come back. Uh, I see you out there, LaFrell. La thanks so much. I see you, Crystal. I see you. Thank you so much for D plus D plus D. This conversation, if you're trying to overcome failure right now, then I want you to pay attention to, to Stephanie Franklin. Not because she's an attorney. Not because she runs Powerhouse Women's Network. But maybe a woman who leads right now. And you mm -hmm. need to keep leading. You need to keep stepping forward. You need, to, you need all the tools and resources. When you hear Stephanie Franklin talk and teach, it's train the trainer content for you. And you're like, yeah, I can use it, but I'm a leader. And I've got to share it with someone else. Or maybe you're just overworked <laughs> and underpaid. Or maybe for you, you're on the verge of a breakthrough. I'll meet my voices for you. <laughs> Stephanie Franklin, uh, I kind of went on a tangent right there, but... Dad got it right. Do the hard things in life. Yeah. Doing the hard things in life develops discipline. Take a moment. You pick whatever you want to talk about. It's, it's, your, it's, your, it's your, you know, I'm just hanging out with you. You got Wilma Jean in the house. My God, she's up, by the way. Wilma Jean, what'd you do? Wake up? Was your phone going bing, a bing, a bing, a bing, a bing? Someone tagged her in and said, you are a powerhouse woman. What about who? What in the LL Cool J is Shay talking about over there? <laughs> Don't worry. You're here. Stephanie Franklin, I'm going over you, man. Pick whatever you want to share to help these women, help women be a powerhouse woman and unmute me. Hashtag unmute me. Hashtag unmute me. Over you, Stephanie Franklin. Okay. Um, I really want to piggyback off of the last statement you talked about when you talked about consistency is key. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important because I think people see consistency as boring. Mm -hmm. I think People see consistency as tedious. I think people see consistency as really dull, no excitement, right? But you said something, you know, your formula, decisions plus discipline equal dominion. Let me tell you what the powerhouse woman does. And this is what the powerhouse woman does in her process of unmuting her voice, right? And she is consistent about her message and her message is just not what she speaks, but her consistency is also how she shows up. Mm. So regardless of how fatigued she is, she is in the office at the same time every day, regardless of what's going on. She's setting an example for her staff. The powerhouse woman shows up, right? She's showing up in court. She's been up all night. She's fatigued. Maybe she's taking care of children, aging parents or whatever. She still shows up for her court hearings prepared and ready to represent her clients to the fullest. See, people, they get excited about fanfare, right? The shiny rocks or the shiny clothes, the big cars, the beautiful houses. You know, and I think about an example of stars, right? We know actors, actresses that may be really big stars right now, mm -hmm. but we think they just got there overnight. But what we did not see was behind the scenes, these people have been grinding for years to be in that space now where they are a superstar. How many of you can think about a number of these big screen people right now that are big mega stars that when you look at an old movie and you look back at that movie, you say, oh, my God, I didn't know such and such was in that. That was years ago because what they were doing is that they were putting in that work behind the scenes, showing up, you know, participating in the small roles, maybe not getting paid very much, being an extra, not being seen. They kept consistently working towards a purpose, towards a goal, towards their mission, towards their destiny. They kept showing up regardless of not receiving the fanfare at that time, regardless of not receiving the monies at that time. They kept consistently showing up. And then here we are 10 years later and they are a megastar and you would never even have thought that that person had that journey. My father always used to tell me as a young girl, you have to crawl before you walk. I always wanted to jump up and jump into the big stuff without getting the rudimentary fundamental things that need to be done. 
So consistency is key. Consistency allows you to move past the challenges in your life to walk into your space as a powerhouse woman. Consistency means that when you are unmuting your voice, whether it's physically unmuting your voice or unmuting some type of expression of who you are, that when it's challenging for you, you have to consistently with discipline kind of chisel down that big rock to be able to see to the other side. This is how you begin to unmute your voice. You just can't say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to tell my story right now because some people may not feel comfortable doing that, that they have to walk this healing journey to be able to do that. And in order to unmute your voice, you have to walk an un a healing journey. And that healing journey requires what? Consistency and discipline. And so I want to leave you with that because I think that that's really important because having big dreams is really important. We have to dream, but we also live in a physical reality and in a physical body and we need to ground, right? We need to root in the earth in order to make things practical because at the end of the day, we need to be practical beings in order to manifest something. So practicality comes with consistency and discipline. Wow, powerful, powerful, powerful. I thought that was the closing remarks, but oh my gosh, you brought that thing back to consistency, consistency, consistency. Uh, Melissa Lambert said, I'm unmuting my voice. KG Walker said, unmute your voice. Crystal Cunningham, excellent. Walk, the healing journey is a must before you start to tell your story. Thanks so much for sharing, by the way, we're we appreciate it. Nicole Brown Hurston says, thank you for packing my parachute. Attorney Franklin, I'm a woman who leads. And that's why I mentioned it earlier. You might be a woman who leads right now. The conversation that she has, especially for you, because again, this could be good train to train the content. D Gerald, thank you so much. Uh, CF Franklin, just put the fire on fire on fire. Look, I'm gonna allow her to have the common comment, closing comments, obviously, because we're in double overtime now. Um, but I'm going to ask her to come back. Don't worry, I'm going to ask her right now to come back. Um, I know she's doing some exciting things. She's speaking, got some cool stuff going on. And maybe when she comes back, um, she'll share because I know many of you are thinking, how can I connect with um, uh, Stephanie Franklin? How can I stay in this conversation? Um, um, how can I, not, not so much, how can I not only learn, but how can I stay in the conversation? You know, the number one distinction I teach, of all the distinctions I teach, of all the principles, is stay in the conversation. Stay in the conversation. Stay in the conversation. You're around the conversation, and I always say around sales and success. These ideas are top of mind to you. When they're top of mind to you, you're just more likely to execute on the idea that's already top of mind to you. And you just keep showing up. You get a little bit better, and a little bit better, and a little bit better. Some days you show up, maybe it seems like nothing happened. You just showed up. But then one day you show up, and you're somewhere, and guess what happens? The light bulb goes off. And all the other times all come together. It's that one time. And you never know. This is one of those conversations. It's a game changer. You can change your story right now. And you can change your life. I know it's a cliche and it's said often, but it's so true. You can change your story right now. Tell yourself, I am a powerhouse woman. I'm willing to do what a powerhouse woman does because I will unmute me. You can make that declaration right now. In fact, here's something I want to do. I want to tell you two things. I'm coming to her for closing comments. Two things. First thing I want, to, I want to share with you to do is I want you all to tell yourself seven times a day for the next seven days. Seven times a day for the next seven days. Seven times a day you're going to say this one statement. I am a powerhouse woman. Hashtag unmute me. That's, uh, that's it. So I want to say someone, someone, someone make that, put that right below. Just put that one decoration below and tag at Stephanie Franklin. So just look right below, look, for, look right below and put... I am a powerhouse woman, hashtag unmute me. When you put that down, that's a statement that you're going to read that to yourself seven times a day for the next seven days. But Shay, why am I going to read something seven times a day for the next seven days? Why am I going to wake up in the morning and tell myself I am a powerhouse woman, hashtag unmute me? Here's why. Here's why. Hear me like you never listened before. Watch with new eyes right now. Just watch with new eyes. Imagine you're driving down the road and you're in your car. Do, 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 do. Sunroof back. I don't know. I'm just joking. It, gangsta lean. No, I'm joking. And you start singing <laughs> along with the words of the song on the radio. 
And here's the question. When did you ever decide you were going to learn those words to the song on the radio? <laughs> the answer is probably never. And that's what's going to happen to you now. This is going to become a song like the ABCs. It's a rhyme. I am a hashtag. I am a powerhouse woman. Hashtag unmute me. I am a powerhouse woman. Hashtag unmute me. That's your song. That's your theme. Only seven times a day. Only for the next seven days. And after that, maybe, maybe you never, it doesn't even come back to you. And so I'm going to come over to Stephanie Franklin and give her the closing comments. And as I'm doing that right now, for those folks that are listening, for those folks that are tuning in, like Janelle Pulley says, I am a powerhouse woman. Unmute me. Uh, C.F. Jackson said, I am a powerhouse woman. Unmute me. Melissa said, I am a powerhouse woman. Unmute me. You got to, you have to do something with that unmute me. I don't know what you're going to do, but you got to come up with something later. Not now, not tonight, but we want to hear more about this unmute me movement. Because I see it's moving, it's happening, it's out there. Tanya Pricker says, I am a powerhouse woman. Unmute me. When you see that, hit the heart button for someone else. Just hit the heart button right now for someone else. You don't know. I, I'm looking at Stephanie Frank, and y'all don't know she's smiling on the inside. What? Unmute me? They, she feel, they, look, look, you started something. Loretta Bosch says, I am a powerhouse woman. She had to wake up. Hashtag unmute me. She's out there. Look, look, look. Okay, I'm coming over to Stephanie Franklin. Some of you, like Crystal Cunningham, some of you who put an I am a powerhouse woman, hashtag unmute me. Um, you might be thinking, hey, Shay, I need to customize some stuff in my own business. I, I do this once a show before we close out. And just want to say, hey, if you just want to have a conversation, the time to move your business forward, you text the word revenue earlier, I get it. You're going to get the replay, get the notes. You just want to have a personal conversation. Say, hey, she, I just want to see how this all relate to me. Here's you. You can just text me personally for the first 10 people. Not everybody, no, I can't take everybody. But for the first 10 people who text me personally, I'm going to give you my number. Um, we're going to reach out to you. And we'll just have a conversation, just you and I. And let's just chat about your business. Let's just, let's just have a conversation. Make sure you have the resources. I'm going to make sure you have the resources. I'm going to make sure you have the resources necessary to support your vision. Because we believe here, Stephanie, I don't know if you know this, but we, we believe here that sales, we're all sales visionaries. And the sales helps us develop the resources necessary to support our vision for ourselves, our vision for our loved ones, and the vision we have for the people we were called to serve. So sales helps us develop the resources to support our vision, to develop our vision, and to deliver our vision to the people we were called to serve. I always say, if you can't focus on your sales, you can't be a CEO. Now, I'm just going to tell you, if you can't focus on your sales, you can't be a CEO. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So if that's you, let me, let me give you my number and just text me and I'll give you a call. We'll just have a conversation. I'll make sure you have all the resources you need. Don't bring a checkbook. You don't need any of that kind of stuff. Let's just show up so we can have a little fun. Here's my number. Go ahead and put it in your browser now. It'll take the first 10 people. Now, if you listen to the replay of this or some long lost audio file of this, it's on the honor system, okay? It's on the honor system. Ah, I'll still respond. Here's the, here's the number, 202, so put that in your browser, 202-270-1662. Again, 202 202- 2701662. That's my personal sale number. When you put it in there, when you put it in there, just put this comment down. Just put showtime. Just put showtime. All you're gonna put is showtime. It's time to show up. It is time with the results in your life and the results in your business. And you just want the resources. So put showtime and then put your first name so I know who you are. Put your last name because it might be more than one Melissa in the world. Put your best contact number because I might just text you what you need. Or put your email. I know some of you still prefer your email. And then we'll reach out to you. We have a one-on-one conversation, just you and I. You're going to text the number 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. Text the word Showtime just to have a meeting around branding, marketing, automation, or sales. So you get the resources you need. Text the word uh, what I say? Oh, Showtime. Hold me tight. Showtime to 202-270-1662. Put your first name, put your last name, put your best contact number and your what? Email so we can reach out to you. All right, Stephanie Franklin, you've, you've, you've been here in double, almost triple overtime now. Um, last <laughs> comments, I'm going to let you go. I know you got to go. Um, for those folks out there, she gives her last comments. Why don't you give her a digital applause? A digital applause. How do we give a digital applause here? At the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, here's what we do. You're going to look right below the video and just put, thank you, Stephanie. Put, you were great, Stephanie. We appreciate you, Stephanie. Her name is Stephanie 
L. Franklin. L, right? Stephanie L. Franklin. S. F. S. S. Okay, I got a lot of letters in my head right now. S. Franklin. You're going to put <laughs> Stephanie Franklin below. Just put thank you, Stephanie Franklin, or we appreciate you, Stephanie Franklin. That's a digital applause to say thank you. We appreciate you. So with that being said, Stephanie Franklin, going over you to give your closing comments. I know you got to get out of here. You got to get up in the morning like a number of folks. Some folks are just waking up around the world, by the way. Some folks are just <laughs> having lunch right now. Some folks are just tuning in and having a good time. But I want you to know that we appreciate you. Um, we love you for the work that you're doing, powerhouse woman. Um, the way you represent, the way you show up, um, the way you started this whole movement, hashtag unmute me. And it was an honor and a privilege to have this very first conversation, I believe, around that subject. Um, yeah. But you, you already making a big difference. You've changed so many lives this evening. So thank you from the Happy Entrepreneur Show. And thank you for all those folks who put in fires and they appreciate you. They love you in the comments. Thank you all for our digital recorders, our digital note takers who write on that digital board and you spend time putting the notes there and blessing someone else. Thank you. That, that really means a lot. I mean, this show is not about us and pushing out. It's about us as a community sharing information, about us as a community helping other folks and make sure everybody can see the notes so they can better themselves. I get messages, I got a message the other day from someone, they kind of go back and read through and just get in the highlights when they can't watch. So you make a difference. You matter. You are awesome. You are amazing. And I know that I know that I know that the best is yet to come for you. The best is yet to come for you. The best is yet to come for you. So with that being said, Stephanie Franklin, I'm going to turn over to you to give your closing comments, to encourage, to inspire all the powerhouse women and the men like us who kind of tuning in right now. <laughs> over to you, Stephanie Franklin. So I, I want to first thank you, Shay, for having me um, on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. It was great being here. I want to thank your audience. I, I think that they're awesome. Um it's been really great for me. And so I, I want to close with this. You are enough. I, I, I really need to say that to women right now. You are enough. And I want you to think about that one thing that's holding you back. That one thing that makes you think that you are not enough. And I want you to visualize what that is. And I want you to visualize picking that one thing up in your hand and throwing it in the trash. Because you are enough. Remember, a powerhouse woman is a woman who's always met with challenges, always met with setbacks, always met with obstacles. But how one becomes a powerhouse woman is how she endures and moves through and pushes forward to accomplish her goals, her vision, her purpose. So what is your dream? I want you to think about what is your dream and what is holding you from accomplishing that dream? That's giving you the signal of the work you need to do. That's why I tell you, you are enough. But in order to be enough, you have to believe you're enough. And in order to believe you are enough, you have to get naked. You have to be truthful. You have to be vulnerable. You have to be honest about where you are. I will guarantee you that when you do that with consistency, you will walk that healing journey. You will unmute your voice. Hashtag unmute me. Hashtag unmute me. That voice will be unmuted because you will begin then to step into the power of who you are and who you were called to be. A powerhouse woman. Remember, hashtag unmute me. It's about you. It's about your belief. It's about your dream. It's about your vision. It's about the work. Be consistent, show up, be the example, inspire, empower, and do well in the world. Thank you, Shay. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. With, with that being said, you are amazing, every single one of you. Thank you, Dr. Stephanie Franklin. Thank you for all our note takers out there, Crystal Cunningham, Mia, 
Tara, Tara James, who's worked so hard. They put you are enough. You are enough. Deborah, I'm just recognizing a few before we get out of here. Deborah, thank you so much. Pamela Bell is in the house. Thank you so much. Carrie Murphy, what's up, Carrie Murphy? Thanks for showing up this evening. Carmelita Walker, thank you so much. Cheryl, Diane, we always appreciate you. Every single one of you take notes on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. You're all happy preneur recorders. You're all happy preneur digital recorders. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Nicole Hurston, thank you so much. God bless you. KJ Walker, thank you for your comments. Tony Leggett, you're, you're amazing. Someone hit the heart button. Someone hit the like button. Just let these people know that you appreciate them. Melissa Lambert, thank you. Jane Pulley, thank you. C.F. Jackson, thank you so much for all that you do out there, by the way. I'm trying to go back as far as I can. Look, I can only go so far. Many of you, I'm going to see you over at the happyentrepreneurstribe.com. We will stay in this conversation. We will continue to move this forward. God bless every single one of you, and I'll see you again real soon because, you know what? The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to what? Come. I close you with these comments. We're out of here. I'll play this as we go out, and then we'll be off the air in just a few minutes. But I got to say hello to Carmelita Walker. You rock. Hey, Lisa Farrell, I apologize. Inspire, empower. Do well in the world. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Y'all behind the scenes now. That was nothing other than Stephanie Franklin. She's over there smiling. She's over there. She's in the feet. She done started to unmute me. I'm going to ask her for a t-shirt. Don't worry about that. I'm going to ask her how can we connect the standard conversation another time. Don't worry about that. I'm going to ask her where she's speaking. I'm going to ask her. Look, look. Don't worry. I'm on the case ace. I hear you. With that being said, my name, by the way, for everyone who's attending and who's tuned in on the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one revenue focus, I mean, business development and revenue focus late night show in the country. My name, by the way, as I close out, is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, I promise you, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless, and I wish you success. Bye-bye. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, check, for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, ready, Dr. Kinnett? Ready, you ready. No, none other than Andy Harikas. And, <laughs> and we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. <laughs> none other than the Kim Warren Martin. promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shea Brown. My check, my check. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can never Man. get enough. And every time I step Man. up in the building, yeah. everybody yes. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain. Hello, it's your girl, Dr.